What's up everyone? Today I will be showing you how to set up Bestiaire's drawer. Um, I found it to be a little bit, <laughs> not difficult necessarily, but if you look at the instructions, so I'll go ahead and show you that real quick. You see, it only has 10 steps. There's six on this side, four on the other. However, if you look really closely, there are a lot of moving parts to it. So I feel like it is a little bit more complicated in the fact that there are a lot of little steps within those overall steps. So my goal today is to kind of help you get through this. Um, I'm hoping to make it simple enough uh, and yeah, just kind of help you through this process. So right now I should be showing you kind of how I've set up everything. What I've done is I've labeled the bags that aren't labeled based on what the instructions tell me. Uh, I tried my best to kind of get it correct. It took a little while. Uh, if you look at some of the bags, they do have a little letter on them, which means that that corresponds to the piece that's set on the instruction. However, there are two sets that um, I felt like weren't labeled very well. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. They are pretty obvious though, just by looking at them. So right here, this is the first one. They're just kind of long with black rods, little screws at the end, and then these little pieces. And all together, both of these are supposed to resemble parts A. And then I will also go through, as I'm showing you how to set it up, what each part is, just to make sure you guys don't get lost. But another piece that I wanted to show you guys were these rods. So when you're looking at these rods, you might be trying to figure out, like, how do I know which one is which? So as you can see right here, I went ahead and labeled it. But the reason I knew how to label it was because, let me go and zoom in just a little bit right there. If you see right there, it's very faint. It does have a DR on it. So that will correspond to the instructions. However, there are a couple pieces that had this kind of faded out, so it was a little hard to tell. So from that, I, I used the picture that's in the instructions to just kind of figure it out. And it wasn't too bad. Um, you can figure it out by looking at the picture. But if you look around on these rods, you will be able to find, even if it is very faded away, you should be able to find the letter corresponding to it. And so yeah, pretty much what I've done is I've got, I went ahead and split up all the pieces and I'm going to show you one at a time pretty much just each step. I'm, uh, so this first step I'm going to break it up in half. So right here I've got one of the pieces. This right here is part of step one and what I've got on the back is I've got piece three which is a nice big board and just so you know all the wooden pieces do have a sticker on them so they should be easy to you know figure out. So right here we've got piece three on the back and then the black rod on the bottom right there, that should be piece number 18. And if you see in the instructions, I'm going to go and show you real quick. If you see in the instructions right there, it says 18A and B. So when you get it, it should already be completely assembled. So together 18A and B just make piece 18. On piece 3, we have piece 17, which is the solar rod right there. Another piece 17. And both of these are the ones that are marked as CL. And then what we're going to do is, is in that cup right over there, it has screws for E. And let me go and find pack E real quick for you. So let me go and fix that real quick. So here's pack E. It has a little E on it, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. E has a lot less screws than F, and they're both the smallest screws in this pack. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these back down here. And what I've done is, is I put, sorry, let me go ahead and adjust that again. What I've done is I've put pack E over there because E screws are gonna go into these silver rods and F screws are gonna go into the black rod. And now I'm gonna go ahead and pause real quick and kind of get a closer look so you can see exactly how to orient these pieces. Okay, so I went ahead and screwed in the pieces so you could see exactly where the screws would go in. So this is on piece uh, three as the back. The black piece is piece three and then right here we have the screw in about the sixth spot from the right and then we have another one right next to the little round spot right there which is like a little wheel and then you're just going to repeat that on the bottom piece as well and then on the lower piece which is uh, I believe piece 18. This one is a little bit trickier so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to take off one of the sliding pieces which is 18b and leave behind 18A and there's a little lever you just push down to take it out and pretty much you just have to screw it right there it's the third hole from the right of the bumper which is right there so one two three 
And then this is where it can get a little tricky. You need to slide around these pieces in order to make a little opening for the other holes. And the way you would align these and see which hole it goes is just by placing this one in first and then just moving this piece up and down until all the holes align. So here's one of them and then the third one is right there near the edge. And the way you know you're doing this right is the fact that it doesn't go past the edge right there because you're gonna be putting pieces that are going to kind of block that little area so you wanna make sure it doesn't go past it. Okay, so now we've got the uh, other half of step one which includes the backboard which is a piece four and then what we have for the silver pieces which are this one and this one those are going to be the CRC uh, silver pieces and then down here we again have 18 and it says 18 in the instructions and now I know why so uh, I ended up having to for this piece at least I ended up having to take out 18B from 18A in order for that little bit of silver right there to move far enough forward for me to put the nail in for some reason I didn't need to do that with the first piece, but I did need to do it for this one. So um, I'll go ahead and just show you real quick what the mechanism for it is. Okay, so when you pick it up too, just so you know, it is very well lubed on it, so it, it's going to be pretty sticky. So let me go ahead and adjust the camera a bit. So you can see right there, there's a little knob, uh, hold on, let me turn on some more light. So right there we have a little piece and what you're going to do is you're just going to pretty much push it forward. So when you're looking at the full piece, pretty much what you're doing is you're just going to push this up and then it should slide out. Make sure you push it up all the way. Um, it was a little tricky for me to get out, which is why I'm not showing how to do it again. It, it took a while for me to get out, so um, I want to deal with having to get it out again. But pretty much that's what you're going to have to do. And then. For the alignment for all of the pieces, it's the exact same alignment as the other one, except it's just reversed. So I'll go ahead and zoom in and show you real quick. Alrighty, so now we've got piece four, and as you can see, I inserted piece CR uh, right there, and there's two of those, and this is pretty much the exact same setup as when we did piece three as a backboard, except it's just reversed now. So instead of it being the sixth screw from, or the sixth hole from the right, it's the sixth hole from the left. Again, the one right next to the little circle piece right there. Go ahead and fix that a little bit. And then again, the exact same right here, CR with the exact same hole placements. And then on this one, it'll be a little harder to see because I went ahead and put piece 18A back on, or 18B back onto A. So pretty much, um, again, you just want to make sure that with all the pieces on, it doesn't go past the edge right there. Um, you can see one of the pieces, or one of the screws right there, third from the left. And then, as I said, just by placing it uh, and wiggling it around a little bit, you should be able to find the other holes in here. And since I already put this piece back on, you won't be able to see the last hole, which is right here. But trust me, I got that screwed in. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to go and move on to step two. Okay, so now we're going to move on to step two. Now for step two, it wants you to get the piece that was piece three with the set attachment of 17 and 18. So we're just going to call that whole big piece, piece three. Um, with that, you want to have the railings facing towards the bottom like I do here. And then you want to get piece 5, which I have against the wall right there. And the reason I know that's piece 5 is because it does have a sticker on it. So uh, that makes it a lot easier, of course. And then you want to get both of the 6 pieces, which I have down here. And the way you want to orient this is going to be... You, you want to be careful how you orient this, pretty much. So for piece 5 over there... I, it's a rectangle, so the way I have it oriented is, is that the long way is this way to where that these little circles right here, they have a hole coming from above it and from below it. So that should help you orient that because what you're going to do is, is you're going to place it into the hole right there and then there's going to be, there's one behind my cup right there too. And then for the pieces for number six, it's going to be the same situation. So you want it long way of course. and you should be able to see, here let me see if I can zoom in a little bit better right there and make it a little easier for you to tell. So right there, there's a white hole and then there's kind of, you know, with a little plastic and then there's one without the plastic. So the way you want to orient this is to where this hole is going to be pretty much, there's going to be two holes underneath. Here, let me just grab number six to make this probably a little bit easier to understand. So there's two holes right here as you can see. Unfortunately, it's a little blurry. I can't, let me go and tighten up my camera so I can focus up on it. So right there. So you can see 
that we have two holes right there and one is going to be going where the circle is so you want the one with pretty much you want this hole and this circle to be aligning with the plastic piece I showed earlier so let me go ahead and place this back down and I'll go ahead and adjust this pretty much what I'm saying is you want to make this align with this by putting it up like this so that's the reason I have it oriented like this so pretty much what you're going to do is, is you're going to overlap it by standing it up and then again you're going to be doing something similar on that end and then the pieces that we're going to need uh, to fix them into place are going to be I believe A and B so that those are going to be the wood pegs which are B and the wood pegs are going to go into the holes without the plastic right there and then you're going to need to get pieces A which are the metal ones with the little circle pieces so what you're going to do is, is you're going to put the metal ones with the circle pieces pretty much in these plastic holes so in the plastic hole is going to be the metal piece and then in the hole within the wood which is like right about there that's where you're going to put in the circle piece and I'm going to go ahead and assemble it and then I'll show you what it looks like as a final project right there okay so I just wanted to really quickly show you what I did here so I went ahead and put in all those pieces right over here and just to give you an idea of how I put it in so let me go and adjust this a bit so here's the piece that I just put in so what you want to do is you want to put this piece going straight down and then let me go ahead and readjust this once you put those pieces in you're gonna to want to put the full board straight on top of it and then you're gonna to want to grab this piece right here and you're gonna put this into the hole that's right here sorry right there so you're just gonna put this in and you're gonna see the back of it let me go ahead and adjust this real quick so you're gonna to want to put this in and then you're gonna see the way it's kind of made you're gonna to want to twist it around to where it kind of secures it into place and that will pretty much be how we finish this up and I'll go ahead and pause real quick and finish that up and show you what it looks like alrighty so we just pretty much finished step two over here uh, as you can see six is now sitting up and uh, over there we have piece five and on the side there I went ahead and laid piece number four and that's because the for step number three we're pretty much just gonna be doing again the same thing but we're just putting it on top of this so I went ahead and put in the two wooden pieces right there again that's just matching the fact that it's right there and right there and then what I did was on piece number four you probably can't see it from here but I added in the metal pieces that I showed before which are pretty much just going to go into this hole right here and this hole right here and then the ones right over here as well and up here so pretty much you're literally just laying it down on top and just to make sure you don't put it on the opposite way you want to make sure that these metal pieces that are right there you want to make sure that when you lay it on top they're also on this side pretty much you want to make sure that those metal pieces are going to be on this border so I'm going to go ahead and do that and show you what it looks like alrighty so pretty much this is what we have so far um, by the end of step three you should pretty much have three walls completely done so that's the two sides and then the bottom one and then you should have these two pillars going across and now what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna go to step four and I'm just gonna show you where things are gonna be put in so as you can see I already turned this on its back and I want you to notice so we have the silver bar right there this other silver one there and then you can't really see it as well but there's a black one right here so for step number four, what you're going to do is, is you're going to grab piece number two. So I'll go ahead and grab that real quick. All right, so here we have piece number two. It has a little hole at the very top of it. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to put it at the bottom here. And the way you know it goes on this bottom is because of the black bars right there. You want to make sure it's on that base. And then what we're going to be doing is, is we're going to be screwing in pretty much a, a decent number of screws um, the point of this is to add the bottom as well as add the four wheels to it so I'm gonna go and put this on top real quick alright so on top so you could just see real quick what we're gonna be doing so for this you're gonna need um, both the wheels that are labeled 20 and 21 and you're going to need screw C screw B and sorry the wooden pieces which are B and then screw F F of course is the really short one, C is one of the longer ones. Let me go ahead and 
pick those up and show you. All right, so here we have C. They're pretty long. There's only four of them, and you're pretty much going to be using all four of them right now for this piece, for this step right now. You're going to need four of the wooden pieces, and then you're going to need 16 of the F pieces, which I have in here. And then you're going to be putting the wheels in each of the corners, just screwing them in. And yeah, I'll go ahead and do that, and we'll, I'll go ahead and pause the video, do that, and then show you what the end product looks like for that step. All right, so I wanted to go ahead and show you real quick what I've done. So here we have the bottom of the dresser, and right here, I've added one of the wooden stakes down here as well, this corner, and this corner. And as you can see, there's another hole above it. On the bottom ones, there's one below it. Again, below it and above it. And that's because those are probably where screw four is gonna go through. I haven't looked at the instructions just yet for that step, but pretty much what we're gonna now do is put the piece onto this, put it onto the, uh, onto the wooden stakes, and then I'm assuming we're gonna screw in uh, the screw number four on each of those corners, and then we'll add the wheels. All right, before I put in the wheels, I wanted to show you, I put in the screws that are labeled as C in each of the spots that are just kind of next to the squares of screws. So right there, right there, and right there. And just to make sure that uh, you're doing it right, make sure this part is kind of like on the top of this. So now I'm gonna go ahead and screw in the wheels and then I will show you what that looks like once I'm done. All right, so we got the wheels in, just to show you how it looks after it's been screwed in. Nothing too special about it, of course, but I just wanted to show you just for completeness sake. So here we've got the other ones. And just to be sure, you wanna make sure the ones that lock, so let me go ahead and fix that focus. The ones that lock you want on the top. So the top is where this little area is. So you wanna make sure that you get the locked ones on the top. And the non-locked ones are the ones on the bottom. And you, obviously, if you went with the numbering for each of the wheels, you should have gotten it in the right place. All right, so I went ahead and set it straight up. And the reason is, is because now we're gonna be putting on piece number one, which I have sitting over there. And with this, you're gonna need pieces A and B, or sorry, screws A and the little circle piece that will go along with it, and then the wooden piece B. And you're gonna need four of each of those. And I've already went ahead and put in the wood pieces. You probably can't see it too well, but there's one of them right there. And then I put one on that end, that end, and that end. And this is gonna get a little tricky in my opinion, so I went ahead and put on the, let me see if I can get a little bit clearer. So I went ahead and put, in, put on the metal pieces, so you might be able to see one of them there. I went ahead and put it on all four of the corners of this one. Uh, of piece one and what we have to do now is we put it on top of here and then we need to put in the circle pieces um, and the circle pieces are going to go somewhere in the side here and on each of those corners so the problem is is once you put it on top it's gonna be a little hard to screw so I'm gonna go ahead and pause and screw those in put, put the piece on top and screw it in and I'll show you what it looks like right after all right so that step is now done so right now we should be completely done with step five so that means we're about halfway done yeah, I know, this is a real beast trying to build this whole thing. But we are actually getting, in my opinion, to the part that should be a little bit easier now, which is just making the drawers that go in it. And the last step is literally just putting the drawers in. So really, in my opinion, we're more than halfway done. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause real quick and gather all the, uh, all the materials for the drawers. All right, for step six, we're gonna need pieces 13, 14, and 15, as well as four of the D screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble that real quick. Alrighty, so I went ahead and finished assembling this piece right here, and I've gone ahead and gathered the pieces for the beginning of step seven. Um, they put like three steps into step seven, so this will be the very first part of it, which I can show you real quick. Um, not sure how well you'd be able to see this, but there we go. So we're gonna be doing this part right here first, and then pretty much what's gonna happen is, is we're assembling the bottom drawer, so this is just to add the wheel, put on the uh, base and all that good stuff before we put it in. And I want you to notice that we're gonna need part 18B, which is the sliding mechanism. So you're gonna need to go ahead and detach that like you did before when putting it onto the uh, base of, or on the side pieces. So you wanna go ahead and make sure to go ahead and get those out because you're gonna need them to screw in the bottom piece. 
All right, so I went ahead and did the bottom piece right here. I attached the wheel and I went ahead and put in parts A right there and right there. And then on this one, on the actual shelf itself, I went ahead and put on the bottom piece, which is just P16. It's a very thin one and you just slide it into the side grooves and you want to make sure it goes in as much as possible. So you'll notice there's not much of a gap right here. And um, the best way to do this, in my opinion, is to put it upside down, which is what I did, and then see if it goes all the way into the, the little opening that's down there as well. Uh, the opening looks like this right here on the sides as well as on the back. So you want to make sure it goes all the way in. And then what I've already went ahead and done is I put on the circle pieces for part A, or for uh, screw A, because then when I put these in, it'll be a little easier to just go ahead and twist it. So this is... What I'm about to do is about uh, is part, I'm gonna call it part B of step seven. So it's like the middle picture. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this piece into it and I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. Okay, so now that I have kind of finished assembling the drawer, what we need to do is, is the last part of step seven, which is to add the railing, which is um, 18B, which is the very small one, which uh, I can show you real quick. This is 18B right here. And we're just going to add it to the side. As you can see, there's the holes. Oops. Uh, sorry about that. So the holes are right there. And pretty much we're just going to screw it in using the screws F. Three on each side. Three screws on each side. And that should complete step seven. So I'll go ahead and do that and show you what it looks like. All right. So I finished assembling it and I already put it in. I'm going to move on to the next step, which is step number eight, which is to make the next drawer. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause and collect all of the material for it and show you what we need. All right, so pretty much step eight and nine are just teaching you how to make the last two drawers. It's the exact same steps. The only difference is gonna be the front piece. So that would be piece eight in this case and piece seven. So the reason it matters is because the middle drawer you want piece eight because it has a double lisp so that way you can pull it from above or below while piece number seven only has a bottom list so you can pull it from below the drawer so it's more of an aesthetic thing as well as for like opening the drawer itself so i'm going to go ahead and make the middle and the top drawer since they're the exact same steps um, i'll show you things i think are important as i make it and yeah after that we should pretty much be done other than adding hinges on the or the sliding pieces on the side which i will of course show all right so i didn't bother showing the setup for the two other drawers because they're exactly the same as the bottom drawer for the actual making of it. Um, the only thing I wanted to show you for this last bit is how to put on the railing. Um, so for this you need a DL rail which will be on this side if you have the head of the um, drawer facing forward. You put the DL on this side and you'll put the DR on this side. And it says, so this is really important, so it says to use four D screws. Well, it actually means to say use four E screws. Uh, if you look you, and you've been following along, you don't have any D screws left, first of all. You have a lot of E screws left, so obviously that makes more sense because you have enough E screws to finish up the job. And then also, if you look actually on the piece of paper, so I'll go ahead and refocus that. If you see right there, it says the size of the screw is three by 14, but a D screw is actually a five by 40 so that the three by 14 is an e screw as well so it makes sense that it is the e screw in this situation so that's really important don't be like oh shoot i don't have it enough because even though you did they did give you some extra um some spare parts right here it's only one of each part so obviously you don't have enough if you use a d screw so just don't freak out you just need to use an e screw for the rest of these and i've already screwed them in so i'm going to go and show you where i screwed them in so let me go ahead and do that. So um, you're putting this on the bottom of the cab, the base pretty much. And there's gonna be two spots, one here, and then there's gonna be one, let's see if I can loosen up my camera a bit. And then there's one up here. They're on the inner side of the uh, three holes on both sides. And then you do the exact same on the other side, right here as well, and right there. And then once you do that for both drawers, you're gonna be done with making the drawers. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the other drawer as well, and then show you what it looks like once it's been put in. All right, we're finally done with this beast of an assembly. 
Uh, here's what the final product looks like. Let me check what time it is real quick. So this took me about two and a half to three hours to make. Of course, that's because I was filming while I was doing this, so I kept having to stop. Um, so your time might vary, but just just look at it. It looks pretty good. It's pretty nice to finally be done with it. My hands are pretty sore from having to keep turning the screwdriver, but in the end, it is worth it. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. Link to this product will be in the description below if you haven't already bought it. And uh, please be sure to like and subscribe because this, uh, this type of video does take a lot of time for me. So I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to it as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.